Welcome to another how-to video from Leap and Lizard Labels. In today's video tutorial, I will be showing you how to add a bleed to your artwork within Photoshop. Uh, in this example, I have this lizard picture here that could be a sticker or a label that I want to be seven inches wide by four inches high. And that's currently what the size is. Adding the bleed is important because if we made that cut to seven inches by four inches exactly, you risk a thin white trim of paper all the way around the label. So we just need to add a little bit of extra artwork room so when it's cut, we won't get that strip of paper. So with the background selected, I'm gonna go up here to image and canvas size. As you can see, it's seven inches wide by four inches high. Now we just need 0 0.05 inches on the top, 0 0.05 inches on the bottom, and the left and the right. So basically just adding 0.1 inch to the width and 0.1 to the height. Change that to 7.1 by 4.1. Now you can see that I've enlarged the canvas. My next step is to make the image fill up the canvas. I'm going to click on my lizard image here and I'm going to go to edit, transform, and scale. You can see that the image can now be altered by dragging the corners. We hit Control Z to go back or Command Z on a Mac. What I want to do is extend the image in all four directions equally. So I'm going to touch Alt, Control, Shift, and hold that down. Command, Control, Shift on a Mac while dragging the corners out. Just making it a little bit bigger to fill the canvas and hit enter. My image is now 7.1 inches wide by 4.1 inches high and it is now large enough to be printed and cut with the bleed. Here at Leaping with Your Labels we'll add our own cut line but sending us artwork this way assures that we won't have a problem with cutting. Uh, you can save it out of here as a JPEG, a Photoshop file, or a Photoshop PDF. So there's the Photoshop PDF, JPEG, or Photoshop PSD file. Uh, thank you for joining me today, and we will be submitting more how-to videos shortly.